I want a Ducati, but I can't afford that yet. I would also like, perhaps, a Rolls Royce. I used to watch Gossip Girl, and I was like, these guys have so much money, it's so cool, and I wanted to make money. <laughs> My name is Andrew Zhao. I make $80,000 a year working in sales in the beautiful sunny San Diego. I want to make more money. You know, I don't think I'll be ever satisfied until I'm really hitting a target like somewhere between two and $300,000 a year. Who doesn't love to make an extra buck, right? I definitely like spend money on stuff that I want and that I feel will like set me up for my future. Food is definitely like a big part of our lives. So good. We kind of splurge on restaurants. I don't really think about the expense. Oh. I'm just like, I want that food. Put that in my mouth. <laughs> I'll pay the price. My main passion is something called gloving, an underground art form that centers around the rave culture. The art form has grown so much, but also awareness. It was on Shark Tank. I believe that gloving is an art form that will ultimately become a billion dollar industry someday. Eventually I want Thrillites to be something full time that would replace my income from my sales career. I envision that happening sometime over the next few years. It's just not my focus yet. Right now I'm really focused on excelling in my sales career and in growing as an artist in gloving. There's a better way out there than trading time for money. My mom has been a huge influence on me. She really taught me make passive income. When my girlfriend moved in with me, we have her extra place, so we Airbnb that out, and we make about a thousand bucks each per month on that. Since I don't have a car, I rent out my parking spot too. Jasmine, my girlfriend, has a car and she'll drive anywhere that is long distances. For medium distances, I typically will take a bird, just like these little electric scooters all over my city. Or if, you know, if I need to, I can take an Uber or most of the time I just walk. My first experience investing in the stock market was at 16 years old when I somehow convinced my dad to give me $20,000 to invest. At that time, I think it was like 2009. So the stock market had literally just tanked. And I took that money and started making a bunch of fast money. I had stocks that were making like 50, 60% returns in a single day. Eventually, it kind of caught up with me because I wasn't really doing the right kind of stuff. And I ended up losing all of my dad's money when one of my stocks uh, pink slipped. Today I'm more of a value investor. I really look at companies that I believe in their future. More stable stocks, blue chips. I think eventually I'll pay my dad back once I have a spare 20 grand laying around. I bought a motorcycle last year. I paid a little bit in cash and then most of the rest I got a really good loan. I actually crashed that motorcycle and broke my back. What was really surprising to me was how quickly the medical bills did rack up. Insurance paid for most of that stuff. I think in total my personal responsibility was like a couple thousand dollars. I just kind of have to pay it out of pocket. Right now I don't really have like an emergency fund, which is a little bit concerning, I guess. I'm not as focused on saving right now as I am on earning. For me to focus on reducing my expenses, I feel like it's thinking small. When I'm trying to think about my future and think about going big, I'm not thinking about how can I cut down on going to restaurants. If I need to, I will, but when I'm trying to think big, I'm thinking about what can I do to hit that next level. I've always had big ideas about stuff and money is just a vehicle to achieving the big dreams that you really have. Eventually, I want to be a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire. So, I guess you could say that's my long-term goal.